Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend and come inside today, Movie Maniacs, as we take a look at Polypore. Yes, it's a science fiction film that recently showed at the Toronto International Film Festival. It's brought to us by writer-director Jesse Barak and gives us the story of Paul, who's a guy who's just trying to get through life. He lives with his parents. He's looking for a job. But then he suddenly gets caught up in some extraordinary circumstances that involve him and telepathy. It involves his, uh, his whole outside changing into someone else from a potion that he drinks. It involves these agents that work for an evil corporation that can teleport in and out of nowhere who are trying to capture Paul and his buddy to help make science experiments out of them. Folks, right out of the gate, Polypore will have your synapse firing and have you asking, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> you've got to pay attention in Polypore, and I liked that. This is a movie that you that doesn't handhold you throughout the entire film. Schlollywood big screen films, most of them, will lay out everything per be be nicely for you, most of them, and, and hold your hand through the script. Polypore drops the hand and says, look, here's how the story is. you got to put the pieces together. And... Uh, as long as you pay attention, you will be able to. Things do get answered, okay? Uh, but they don't play out that way right away. So it has you wondering, what's going on? Where are these characters? And I love that. It has you asking questions because it motivates you to want to see what happens next to these characters. And let me tell you, some of the stuff that happens to Paul, the poor guy. Oh, man. Now, Paul is played, the character Paul is played both by uh, Jeffrey uh, uh, Bilat. I hope I got that right. If I murdered that, I apologize. And uh, Chen Tang. And both play this really well. They play Paul. Paul is kind of the character that links you to the audience. He's the guy as well trying to figure out exactly what is going on. So they both portray the same character very well, and you get the feeling that this is actually the same guy just in a different skin. So both performances there are very well done, as well as the performances by the supporting cast around them. All these uh, interesting characters, the agents who can teleport in and out. I loved each and every one of them. They were a little bit different spin on some cliche characters and just fun to watch. Uh, what's also fun is the dialogue in this film. It's Again, you got to pay attention to it and the things that are happening because if you miss a few minutes of it, you may miss a lot. And I love films that make you think. You know, we don't get enough of that. But Polyport definitely does that. It has entertaining moments. It has some uh, mess, not messaging moments, but it has some great themes in here that I really like. The the philosophy, the basis, the, the, the backstory that they give for why these events are happening to Paul is great. It's, it's original. They got a little animated sequence in here as well. Kind of an ode to anime. Loved that bit as well. There's all kinds of things happening in Polyport to stimulate your brain, folks. There's even some fantastic visuals in here uh, with just some time elapsed photography. The, it's, the colors were stunning. The production value of this film was fantastic as well. It surprised me for being uh, an independent film like this. It, the production design and value of this was fantastic and I really loved it visually as well as mentally stimulating. So Polypore fires on all cylinders. It's definitely one that I think uh, fans of sci-fi independent films, fans of just independent films in general should catch. I think you can catch the film at the polyporefilm.com uh, website. Uh, look for them also possibly making the festival scene. This is just a, that example that independent films can do what Hollywood can and tell a good story, an entertaining film that makes you think, and then at the end when you get a ending that isn't so predictable, you're not disappointed. And I was definitely not disappointed with Polypore. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut, folks. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.